Hi there, I thought it would be kind of fun to play some of these home recordings. These are on the brown wax discs. I'm afraid my knowledge of uh, cylinders isn't very good compared to records. They got writing on them, which I'll show you from the original. And these are brown wax home recorded discs. And uh, it says on the piece of paper that they were recorded around 1910. They would have been recorded on this very machine. And they would have used one of these uh, recorders here. They come in a box like this and you replace the uh, what usually uh, plays them back here. You, this comes out. This says it's uh, May the 23rd 1905 the patent. And then there's another patent October the 17th. There's two of them. I guess they had a spare one. And there it is. You can see that and that just pops into here and you can uh, re you can remake your own discs at home the original recorder but I thought it was nice to have something that probably hasn't been played in about a hundred years so we're going to very carefully slip this on to the end pull this hook back here I haven't used this in a very long time so I've got to remember how to do it I hope it still works then you pop this back on like that. Then you connect the horn on. And this has got a little thing that runs along here so it doesn't touch the record yet. Then you have to wind it up. Not very steady cable here. Turn it on so see if it starts spinning. There we go. Started to spin. Now we have to line it up with the end of the record. And we pull this pin out. It should play very well. It should line it up at the beginning of the record, but it will get there eventually. Needs a little bit of crank, I think. Well, I hadn't used it in about two years, so I've just given it a bit of an oil job because I think the oil must get a little stiff after it's left for a while. So I used a very light, actually I used 3-in-1 before, but this time I've used the light uh, sewing machine oil that I actually had from my Garrard 301 turntable. So I'm hoping that light oil will free everything up. Seems to be going better now. Oh well, I've given it an oil job and I put a regular regular Harry Lauder uh, cylinder in there so it's working better now so we're, so we'll try the other cylinder again okay so we'll try this again Well, that's a little bit of that one. We'll try another one, see if it's a little bit more entertaining. So here's another one. We'll give that a shot. Exactly the same date on it. As I said, these all came from the same recorder at the same place. And we'll see how this one sounds. Take it out the cotton wool for the first time. Oh, this one's got a little bit of mould on it, but only at the end. So hopefully the first part will play just fine. The only trouble with these because they they get a little bit of mold on them after a while. To give them some attention.
too many hobbies. There's always one or the other one going. So we'll see if it gets up to speed. And we'll see if we get anything come out. First time I've played this this, so pop it on. So if you can hear anything. Yeah, wow, I'm flooded there. It probably needs more oil. You know, remember they were just singing down a horn into this thing, cutting that record straight onto wax, so can't expect too much. Okay, well we'll try another one now. Well I thought I'd have a go at trying to record a cylinder properly now, because uh, I don't think I can try and get the very best quality out of it that we possibly can. Anyway, we'll give it a shot. Um, of course, my computer's roaring away with all about 10 fans in it, making a lot of noise, but hopefully this mic won't fix it, pick it up. So we'll give it a try anyway and see what we can do. When the mists have rolled away, sung by Anthony and Harrison, Harrison Records.
So they work all week, get one day off on Sunday, which they spend most of the day in church, and then when they got a little bit of entertainment, they play hymns. I have a like to, I was just watching on the internet, they like religion to a virus, kind of like a cold virus. And once you caught it, you're lost. What a waste of energy and time. They could have been having a good knees up and a nice time in their short, miserable life. Oh well, what can you do? This one's called Love Me and the World is Mine, number 9371. Unfortunately, it's got quite a bit of mould on it, so I don't know how good it's going to sound, but we'll give it a try. Unfortunately, we got a bit of mould at the end of that, and that's what happens to these cylinders. They get mould on them at the end, and then they go all, they sound all strange, because it's eaten away at the track. You can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all mouldy at the end. Oh, well, that's what a hundred years does for you. <laughs> 